Howdy fellas, I'm going to be covering a lot a lot of nade spots for the map Villa. And before we get started I should point out that there will be a lot more frag grenade spots than semtex spots because with Villa being so large it's difficult to get any complex semtex throws in whereas frag grenades can stretch a lot farther and cover more distance. So it's best to go into this map with a frag grenade if you're planning on doing some good cross map nades. So with that said let's jump into it. We'll start off with a nade that can be used in any game mode. The window above the bar is a very very popular spot and it overlooks the B flag in Domination, the B bomb site in Demolition and it generally just offers a good line of sight in this high traffic area so if you want to counter it with a grenade you can do it with both a frag and a semtex. So this is the frag, you want to use this lantern as a horizontal marker. You want to stand next to these boxes here so when you're aiming at the lantern you're in line with the window. You just want to aim up, run, jump and throw. The Semtex option is exactly the same. Standing behind the plant is going to give you the cover from the whole area and then the boxes will be your marker. You want to use the lantern again as the horizontal marker. So when you're in line with that, you know you're in line with the window. And from there you just want to aim up, take a running jump and throw. This nade is really easy to pull off when you've practiced it enough and you'll be able to do it without even thinking. But the guy isn't too hard to shoot out unless you're using an incompetent gun, like an SMG. Now I'll cover a bunch of nades to the B flag in Domination. So when you're spawning at A by the pool, you can get a nade on B straight from the A flag. So you just want to aim just at the edge of the roof in line with B, then jump forward and throw the frag. This building's very deceiving and it's bigger than you think. So sadly you're only going to be able to pull this one off with a frag grenade. If you're spawning in the garage, then you can use this palm tree as a marker. Just run up next to it in line with B, aim into the white of the cloud, and then just throw the nade. Let the grenade go on the third blink for the best result. You can also pull this one off of the Semtex, so you just want to use exactly the same spot. The palm tree offers a good marker. So aim in line with B just at the edge of the roof of the white cloud and just let the grenade go. If you're coming out the front doors of the villa or you just happen to be this side of the fountain you can come up to this lantern by the low wall as a marker. Aim up and in line with B then jump forward and throw. Make a note of the very high wall that surrounds B. When you're trying to nade this area of the map, just take this wall into account because it's pretty hard to clear sometimes. So you can pull this off of the Semtex too, but you might like to move a little bit closer just to make sure you clear that wall. Not entirely necessary, but it does make it a little easier. You can also try aiming slightly to the right of the B marker, because people capturing B from the other side will generally take cover behind that object. If you're perched up at the balcony and you have a frag grenade spare, have a look at B, come up to the corner of the balcony here, nearest to B, aim up above the palm tree, and you'll just about clear the wall and kill anyone on the B flag. You'll need to take a running jump while you throw to. If you're spawning on the sea side of the map, you can get an A to B directly from the C flag. So when you're standing on C, aim in line with B with your marker above the tips of the trees, then run, jump and throw. Again that high wall surrounding B makes this spot very impractical to do with the Semtex. If you're spawning all the way down here at the rocks, come up to the base of these stairs here, next to this little statuette. Line up with B, 
then run, jump and throw after two blinks. If you're on this side of the fountain, you can get both a frag and a semtex off to B. So you want to use this lantern here as your marker, line it with B, and you don't even need to cook the nade, you can just let the nade go instantly and it'll bounce off the object next to B. Semtex. It's exactly the same. You just want to use this lantern as your marker, aiming up in line with B. You want to take a run, jump and throw whilst aiming high. It's better to aim to either side of the B marker too, because if the Semtex sticks to the object, anyone taking cover behind it will not take any damage. If you're losing the A flag and you happen to be at B, you can stand directly on the B marker, lined up with A, over the roof, then run, jump and throw on the second blink. Again, if you're perched up on the balcony, you can get the A flag from here. You want to stand next to this metal grating here, aim at the edge of it in line with A, then jump and throw on the third blink. You can also pull this one off of the Semtex. So it's exactly the same concept. You just want to stand at the edge of the metal grate, aim at the tip of it in line with A, then take a jump and throw. Lastly, for defending A, if you're passing through the fountain area, then you can come up to this low wall and jump on it for elevation, line up with A, just between the palm trees, then jump and throw your nade on the third blink. Again, if you have a Semtex handy, you can also do this one. You want to stand in a different spot though. Come up to this part of the low wall here, in line with A, right above these palm trees, then you want to jump forward and throw. Now we can start nading C. So if you're at the B flag, you can use the B flag as a direct marker. So stand on it, line up with C in the thick of these leaves, then run, jump and throw after two blinks. This option is open to the Semtex too. So again, directly from the B flag, aim in line with C in the thick of these leaves, then run, jump and throw. If you're coming out the front doors of the mansion, then you can get a good nade off to C. Come right up to the fountain, put your marker above the head of the statue, and you want to take a big run, jump and throw. Let the frag go after two blinks. As far as that one looks, you can also pull it off of the Semtex somehow. You want to use exactly the same spot, so come right up to the fountain, take a big run, jump and throw in line with C.
Now it's time for the most heroic looking grenade of all time. If you're at the balcony, you can just about stretch your frag grenade over to C. But this one's bounce dependent. So you want to come right up to the edge of the balcony in line with C. Run, jump and throw, and let the frag grenade go without even cooking it. This one's bounce dependent. So it's going to land between the two gates, bounce forward and then magnetize towards everyone on C. Now we'll look at some demolition spots. It's possible to nade B from this pool area here. Come up next to this big planter here. In line with B. Then jump and throw after two blinks. This frag will land on the side that the attackers generally plant on. This is possible with a Semtex too, but you need to change spots. You'll need to stand on this wall here for the elevation. Stand at the edge of it. In line with B, and aim up where that little white circle is there. Run, jump and throw your Semtex. This will do enough to clear the roof, and then it'll explode right above the bomb and kill everyone. When you're attacking, and the enemy's defusing your B-bomb, come up to this object here in line with B, Take a big run, jump and throw in line with it. This frag should bounce behind the bomb site and kill enemies on the side they generally defuse from. I saved what I think is the hardest nade to last. You can get a frag off to A if the enemy's defusing. Come up to this wall here next to the hedge, lined up with A just to the right hand side, then run, jump and throw after two blinks. Again, this one's going to land behind the bomb site, and it'll kill them from the side they generally defuse from. Alright fellas, that concludes Villa nade spots, and to sum up, Villa is huge, and the Semtex is just not competent enough to hit as many spots as you could. So, if I had to go into Villa with a nade of choice, I'd pick the frag every time. So, thanks for watching all the spots, hope they helped. If you found it helpful, please give them a thumbs up, you'll be doing me a big favour. And the next map will most likely be Radiation. So, thanks again, goodbye.